Hey guys, Dark and Mythic, and on today's video, we're going to see how many anvils does it takes to kill different mobs, including the Ravager, which is one of the toughest mobs in Minecraft. So make sure to subscribe and let's get started. First up, we have the zombie and the skeleton on this little four foot fall. So let's see which one goes first. You died first, and then. Here you go, so let me kind of take that one out. Uh, yeah, get away from here, please. So there we go. I got you. Got you. That is first anvil. Let's check out second anvil. So let's put you here. And let's put you here. Let's check it out now. It took you one. It took you two, so uh, I think y'all can still resist one more. So let's put one more. Hopefully, this one will kill you. Nope, you're still alive. No, you're still alive. And let me take those off, and then you try to take those off of you without hurting you. There we go. All right, and then. So that's three or four, I'm not sure. I think that was that was the third one. So yep, I think this is the fourth one killed you. And yeah, I don't know what killed you before the anvil fall. But yeah, I guess for a zombie and a skeleton, boom, a little four block fall. It takes four times to kill these. A little bit more interesting, we have a witch and a creeper so this is going to be very very interesting to see which one has an anvil so let's watch carefully the witch that was one hit that was two hits now let's check it out again the second time i'm pretty sure you're going to be more resistant so that was your second hit that was your second hit, alright, alright, this is your third anvil, so here we go, that's you, and that's you, let's check out the fourth one, um, so we got fourth, you're still alive, and fourth, you are dead, so the witch, can resist more than four right that is pretty cool but let's still see how much anvils it takes you to kill you so let's put you one more this is the fifth one and let's put you uh one more i'm just gonna drop it from the top that is the sixth one okay you can resist more than six that is pretty insane that's your seven that is your eighth and you are still alive and that is your ninth and ten and you are still alive let's see if, if you reach 12 and you haven't died then i need to do something because there's something really wrong it's your 12th 13 pre is sure it's your healing potion just admit it, okay? Die. You know what? I'm kinda getting tired of you. Uh. Okay, there we go. I'll just say that was, what? Three more? Oh yeah, that was, a, that was very, very interesting. So let's go on to the next ones. So now here we are at the second stage. Now as you can see, these are instead of four blocks, they are 10 blocks high, which means that when the anvils drop, they are gonna drop really hard on the floor. So we're about to see which one is gonna take the win. It looks like it kinda just stopped raining, so I do need some dirt to protect from the to protect the zombies so I'm just gonna put a little bit of protection there so the zombie and the skeleton don't burn 
And yeah, so let's start. So we have the zombie first. And the skeleton. So let's start with you. Oh, okay. That was a first hit. Uh, let's check out you. How you do. And no, you're pretty much more resistible. Uh, so that was your first one. I'm just going to chop it from up there. And yeah, it took you two tries. Next up, we have a stronger one. And I'm pretty sure I can take this third out now. Next up though, we have uh, a creeper. And I'm going to replace the witch with an evoker, which they are pretty strong to. In fact, let's see how much it takes them to get crushed both by an anvil. So here we go. So we got you first. So it takes you a little bit more than two. What about you? Okay, yours was just first hit. Let's see if you can resist more than two. So this is the second one. I'm just gonna drop it from here. And yeah, it was just two and oh, you gave me an emerald. How okay. good. Yes, this was second phase. It took uh, one for the creeper, the skeleton, two for the zombie, and two for the evoker, I'm pretty sure. Now let's go to the final rounds. And so here we have the ravager. One of the most furious and insane creatures on Minecraft. And to be honest, when I see one of these in my actual world in a raid, I just run. I don't even try to fight them. Since we're really strong, and today we're gonna test the strength by seeing how many anvils, or you can see how many anvils fall them. So you can see here are three uh, anvils. Six anvils are gonna fall at him at a time into the fourth block and we're gonna see how many of them takes them for the fourth block so let's start with number one so yep he resisted all of the six let's put the second row and let's see how many takes to kill him okay yep it took that much now here we have the second row so let's go that is uh, 18 I'm pretty sure and this is 24 and so this is 30 and this is 36 oh my god he hasn't died yet this is 42 and this is 48 this is 54 and this is 60 this is 66 and this is 72 this is 78 and this is 82 I think is it 82? No, it's 84. And this is 90. Oh man, this took 90 anvils in order to kill him. Look, the end, some of the anvils got even got damage. Oh man. Okay, this took 90 anvils for the four block. That's just the four block. We still have the 10 blocks. So let's hope this is shorter and let's hope, let's see how many is, and I guess this is going to be the fine now. We have a ravager back here, but as you can see, the anvils are all the way up here. The same six anvils are going to be dropping at him at the time over the 10 block high. Let's see how many anvils it takes to kill them. Here's the button, let's press it, and here we go. That is six anvils. That's 12 anvils. 
That is 18 anvils. That's 24 anvils. That is 30 anvils. And there we go. It took 30 anvils to kill him. Oh my god, that was insane. Look at all these anvils. So there we go, guys. Four block took over, what, 90? And this one took exactly 30 to kill him. And that was pretty good. Now you know the answer. And if you want to try it by yourself, go ahead. And tell me if you want me to do a video in the future about these buildings. As you can see. And I really would like to. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And subscribe if you haven't. And share this video with someone who had this question. A friend, family member. Whoever also check this video here where I parkour through a giant sky maze It's like just the most random challenge I've ever done in my life and we'll see you next time. Goodbye